afternoon. Jason Ablewhite, the Cambridgeshire Police Crime Commissioner, has launched into a crime initiative about tool theft. This is um, people going to stay at Premier Inns and stuff, you know, holiday and whatever it's called, travel lodge. And they park their work vans outside and they're getting broken into it and the tools are being stolen. So he's called it a perennial crime. Mr. Abel White said, for instance, a perennial crime, this is the Hans Post, I haven't picked it up on there, is an overnight one where individuals who have travelled to our country for work purposes are having tools stolen from vans left unattended in the hotel car parks where they are staying. Now I'd heard the word perennial, Quite a lot of times, but I couldn't remember exactly what I meant. Um, lasting or existing for a long or apparently infinite time, enduring or continu continually, continually <laughs> recurring. <laughs> Sorry, uh, a perennial plant. That's where I've heard it. I think is plants living for several years. So, let's just go back to Jason Abelwhite's definition. Individuals who have travelled to our country for work purposes are having tools stolen from vans left unattended in hotel car parks. Here's a clue. Don't use big words if you don't know what they mean, Jason. <laughs> okay. Now, apparently the Federation of Small Businesses, FSB, who I've no you know, I've never really had any contact with whatsoever. Uh, don't know if they're good, don't know if they're bad, but they brought this to his attention. I don't know why he wasn't on top of the case being police crime commissioner and all, you know. Uh, there was quite a funny bit in here. Um, oh, I can't find it now. But anyway, apparently the police crime commissioner has given them loads of helpful security advice. Didn't know he was an ex-copper. I thought he was a failed businessman. Ex-district councillor. He's certainly not ex-forces. The FSB said we had a very positive discussion with Mr. Abelwhite and were able to pass on a lot of tips to our members about what they should do. Um, to avoid being victims of crime. So you sat there and discussed the fucking weather then, really, didn't you? I think this is actually made up. I, think, I don't think this story exists at all. <laughs> I think the ever helpful press are trying to make out like the police crime commissioner actually has a job. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> Not quite as wow as the last video I did. Um, really, you know, you're a, a builder or you're a, a painter or you're whatever. And you pull up to the hotel for the night, park your van, lock it. 
There's not much else he can do to prevent crime, is there? <laughs> These people frighten me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs>